And we're gonna go straight into episode 9. <sighs> so, we just finished trial 1. Of, like, the, the secret magic from Cat, whatever the guy's name is. The, like, main person. Does it get any more I don't know, was he the headmaster? I can't remember. But we finished trial 1, we did, like, the big boss fight. And now, we did a ton of, like... Oh, Irondale. Weird. We did a ton of, like, small quests after. So I think what we do... We have Beast Class, so which I need to do... Gladwin Moon. I need to learn to Pulso. Already. And then I need to do, like, the Sharp Assignments. I need to get Wingardium Leviosa. I need to get the Pulso itself. But this is going to teach me to Pulso, so I could just skip on that. Um, Unless not... No, I do need to do this one. Okay. And I can do Onize. But to do that, I need to learn the Pulso. So I think what I do first is I... Uh, I do Soup in the Competition. So I go... Uh, do the Amelda mission. That's not the right one. That's not it either. Tab, please. Thank you. Yeah, so I do go do Amelda's mission. I go. I guess I gotta go beat her time or something. And then I'll do like all my classes and stuff. And I'll learn all the, the new spells. And I still need to figure out that fucking bridge. I don't understand how to do that bridge. Like I could have sworn it's the bridge I've already been on like four times. And it's just not. So, I mean, it is what it is. Sooner or later, I'll figure it out, but I just, I don't know what other bridge it can be, honestly. Can I really go on a sub right now? That'd be pretty good. Like, Subway. Is Subway open at 2, 2.25 in the morning? Unlikely, but I'm not going to door dash it, though. I would, but I don't think there's anything open at 2.25 in the morning. Although, it is, we do live in a college town, so possibly, but I doubt it. Did I already put the... Did I put the upgrade on or no? Or did I get instantly, uh... It doesn't feel like I'm going up any faster. Yeah, so the upgrade's already been put on, so apparently I'm going as fast as possible. Uh, those five balloons are part of, like, another another uh, mission, I guess, for uh, Kagawa. I was just leaving them there, because I've already done two extras. <laughs> I was breaking the, uh, the Hogsmeade station ones, because I was around Hogsmeade, and I assumed those would be it, but it just never went off. So, I did two whole uh, balloons, or two whole sets of balloons, so ten straight, without thinking about it. Oh, well, not have these five, though, because they're right here. Might as well, right? I feel like an F-15 over Montana, or South Carolina, I think is where it was. Just popping balloons. Enjoying life. That's what we love to see. Yeah, I'm all those right over here. Okay, thanks, I guess. I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Who the fuck are you? I don't know why they're coming on forgivable go. curses. I heard something. There you go. Slippery little break. Let me help you. Death is one of my own. You will fall. Accio. Confringo. Come Let me help you. Stop that right now. Oh, I just turned his ass into a chicken. The beasts around here can sympathize easier. Huh? Dude, imagine. Imagine just minding your business, doing your job as a poacher, and somebody just turns your ass into a chicken. 
I just give up at that point. I just retire. Akio. Can I fly around over to here or no? Or do I like actually have to walk up to her? Kind of dumb if I had to. Well, maybe I just can't fly over that mountain. See in a second. Yeah, I guess Here I just we can't are. fly over that mountain. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Homegirl, I don't know who the fuck you're talking to. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So, what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. What do you mean by try? I'm going to beat your challenge. It's 226, but these are okay. Sprint. Or sprint. Fly, dummy. Made it. Excellent. Somebody that talks about how she's like the best flyer. Her times aren't great. They really aren't. Not as good as I thought you were, Imelda. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. Isn't that what she said about the last one? To race this course one? again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Yeah, isn't that what she said about the last one? Well, I'll see you at the... whatever, the other course. And then she just didn't perform. <laughs> She got beat. Uh, okay, so what was it? Practice, practice flying near the spire of Kimberts Tower. So that's something I can do. I have to return to Albi anyway. So maybe we do this one. Let's see how far these ones are. That's eh, not that bad. Oh, of course, I can't fly over the fucking mountain. I 
guess it's not that open world. Considering world border right there between two places. That I could just easily fly above. But whatever. Here's what it is. Go to our flying trials. That's okay if I really want to explore. Right, not right now. I, I understand. You can leave me alone, Mr. Assassin's Creed. You're leaving the Animus. I'm fine. I'm assuming that's what it's all about. So we're gonna Ooh, okay, I can actually do that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're just gonna pop that, turn around. Let's pop this. Got it as well. Pop that. And now. Pop that. There we go. Alright, now let's go see if we can do this uh, Merlin trial. Ooh, big ass spider. I'm good. I'll pass for now. I flew through here, didn't I? No, I don't think I did. Where can I fly from? It's right here. Okay. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Balls on? So I have to find like four little balls from somewhere. That's what it appears. Stones I could pick up. Does not appear likely. All right, cool. All right, well, uh, we out this bitch then. Can freak up. We out this bitch then. as far as possible. Actually, right, let's go down here. Let's go light this flame. I'm pretty sure we can do on the on the broom. Yep. So fly back this way. Yeah, we knock out all, a bunch of our classes. backwards. We start on this one and then we go to the first one. Yep. Stop that. Boom. That's 
That's it. All right, dude. How about let's fucking fly. This looks like trouble. I know. That's what I'm not saying. Let's go land somewhere. Let's teleport back to Hogwarts. Because I'm really not trying to fucking fly 1,600 meters. Let's hop off. I can't dismount there. Nice. Of course not. What are y'all? Good for you. Oh, I can't kill him. Now I just feel bad. Now I just feel terrible. Let's go back to Hogwarts. Let's, uh... Right? Or no? Oh, no, I, I'm... Tracking the other mission. Where I have to go talk to... The dude running the sports store. Whatever that dude's name is, I can't remember off the top of my head, even though I was literally just there. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Alright, so now we gotta return to Kogma. Or Kagawa, not Kogma. God. I'm not playing League here. Where's she at? Oh, she's here. I see. I'm just dumb. So we need to return to here. We can literally just from there. To her flight class. And then just run up run up the stairs. That'll do. It takes us literally right at the staircase. We love that. Love to see it. Barge in a room and tell her Welcome what's up. Welcome back. Have you reporting back, Professor? Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say, and you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, oh, deliberate movements. Nice. Nailed it. She wants me to probably practice. Up some Very good. Books or items. So what we can actually do is we don't have the fourth one done yet. We can start there for now. Practicing your new spell as much as possible. Yeah. Perhaps be fair. It kind of okay, cool. It just drops stuff to the ground and slows stuff down. Awesome. Where's that? Quest. What quest we got? Beast class. So we got to do. Acquire and use a focus potion, acquire maxima and endurance potion, and then use simultaneously. So I need to do the focus potion. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do this one, I guess. Garlic will teach us some Guardian Leviosa. So a Mandrake, should I literally just go to her classroom? I think that's what I do. I can go hit her classroom. Go to this one. Library annex. Two greenhouses. Find a mandrake and then we go fight. 
use it on multiple people at once, and then we can uh, come back to her and learn you when Guardian Levy is. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Let's try to find a mandrake in here. This one, I think. Oh, it's Ditney Leaks. Oh, that's my Ditney. Nice. Hunger's a baddie. I'm gonna risk Professor, her what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well. He never cared, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. A terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> a fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well... I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I had no idea. How awful. Last I heard, he'd gone to Romania. As rumor would have it, he developed a sudden interest in dragons. One can only hope he found more happiness working with them than he did with Flora. Oh, I thought huh. he was fucking dead. Lovely speaking <laughs> I thought with you. Have she a was wonderful inferring. day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. I thought she was inferring that the fool was fucking dead. Not that he just left. Uh, let me see the pot. Can I do a mandrake? There's some dogweed and death cat. Yeah, so I don't actually own Mandrake. Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. Is there a Mandrake here or do I like have to go buy one? Nah, it's, not, it's looking unlikely. So I guess I go to the I go where? I'll recognize it once I'm looking at it. Um, root impact, that's not it. Ollivander, Snow Witch, J. Pippins, Magic Thief, that's not it. Hogsmeade. Where is it? Root impact, right? No. What was it again? Dogweed and death cap. I've got here. I have to go there, get a mandrake, and then I'm gonna go use it on some people. Hope that's good enough, and then talk to Garlic and win learn when Guardian Leviosa. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I gotta go run through and grab this uh this other light. the other flu flame so I could teleport over that way. I guess the proper term is fast travel, but there's that. Akio. Can't just be flying around like that and expect to not get grabbed. Same with you. Let's go around up here. Let's go buy a mandrake or a few, maybe. Might buy a few. Who knows? 
to be reckoned with, aren't you? Aren't you? Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, Funny enough. what say we show <laughs> you some of what's for. available? Mandrake seed. Oh my god, 800? I guess let me buy a oh, seed I'm and always actually thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. Buy a mandrake. Tell you, you'll go far. Doors Jesus always open. You'd be sure to stop by soon. Okay, so I need to go find multiple enemies. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? She just fucking swindled me out of $1,300. 1300 At least take me out to dinner if you're gonna fuck me like that. God damn. I like to be wined and dined before I've been fucked. Nah, I'm just, I'm just playing. Alright, we need to go find enemies. So I gotta, I gotta find some enemies. I gotta we can go straight to the straight to the forest. Uh, we need to go to the world map. World map, we can go straight here. No trouble there. Should be able to find enemies in the forest. That we're not supposed to be in. Yep, instantly. There's multiple up there. My question is, how do I get up there, though? That was the question. I guess, walk. Okay. Yeah, let's go up this way. And then we need to do tab, mandrake. You're gonna have a great day! Explosive! Simon Tool finished. Incendia! Let me Well, definitely use that on the wrong guy. Incendia! Oh, this is. Can we use it? Oh, wait. I have to destroy all of those, don't I? Five, six, or seven. is open and ready and then we can actually from here we need to get rid of some more gear we're gonna hold on to that let's we'll get rid of this it's not really good for selling we'll sell for a lot i need to sell a bunch of it when i get back to hogsmeade oh dark arts battle arena ways of enemies in the battle arena with unforgivable with the unforgivable curses of Ada Kedavra, Imperio, and Crucio, as well as the Blasting Curse. Confrigno, or Fringo. In addition to their unique and devastating effects, unforgettable curses could break through all speed. Okay, so I'm not going to do that right now. I don't want to. But I will remember that there's a Dark Arts thing in here. Which is great. Uh, okay, let's actually do this. Because it's right down this way. So it'll be right down here. And then we'll go back to... Uh, We'll 
we'll go hit we lift uh, here, uh, the clothing store. We're we'll gonna sell a bunch of stuff, and then we'll go to. Oh, okay. I guess I'm in here now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think two of us. Oh! Repair it. Place it. That wasn't it. Couldn't bring us. Oh, I got a bone chase. Oh, what do I do? Repair. Okay, I can't really do anything there. Grab that. Accio. This. Oh, I see. Slot here. You just get rid of that. That one's a big boy scarf. Nice. Nice. Silver four eyed spectacle. Akio. That wasn't so difficult. Oh, nice. So the hot spot is done. I deal with all these bones. Do I have to put them back in here? Akio. Wait, can I repair this one? Repair one. Would have been really weird if I could have repair of that guy's body. <laughs> Wrong thing. Okay, cool. We can just leave here now. I gotta remember how to get out. Hmm. I see. It appears we're stuck. Unless I think of a way out. I climb this uh, one? Uh, That's what I thought. Uh, hmm. Uh, Can't pull that anymore. Can't pull that anymore. Uh, it appears I'm stuck. Isn't stuck though. Teleporting. Fast traveling. Because I, quite frankly, do not care. So I can go to beast class and then. I can do that. Oh, herbology class during the day. So focus potion, maximum endurance potion. I have the Edurus, or Edurus, whatever. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. I'm not British. So, but I can learn. I can go do those. Please. So let's go do this one. Let's go brew ourselves a potion. Or go buy one, I guess. Let's go to Hogsmeade. You need to go to the potion shop. So that one. Let's teleport there. I'm not running or flying. Let's teleport our way in. Hogsmeade, here I come. Dude, there's already a 100% achievement guide. How long's the game been out? Three days? 
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Uh, a have a good look around. Okay, my mouse died. Awesome. Awesome. Checks out. Give me a second. Sorry. My mouse just died. I'm gonna have to reconnect. So it'll turn on, and I won't be able to use it for like 10 seconds, and then it's gonna turn off and then turn back on. Yep, there we go. Uh, Maxima, I think I need that. And then I need a focus potion, shit. Right? It's Maxima potion, right? I hope to see you again. Let me say it. Farewell for uh, now. Yeah, Maximus and I. What Maxima can I do for you today? So I'm gonna buy the Maxima. A wise decision. Thank you. Focus. I have a. Oh wait, I have a focus. I had a Maxima too. Fuck. I, I hope that. to see you again. Farewell for now. There's Maxima potion. Oh wait, no. I needed to buy those. Shit. Okay, well, I guess we hit the clothing shop. I'm gonna sell our clothes. And hope we can afford a Maxima and a Focus, because I already have the other one. There's two things down that way, which we can do in a second. Yeah, right now we're just trying to, like, fill out a bunch of our... Uh, Hello there. Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need small, help finding anything. Small stuff that I need to get rid of. Expect you have a sharp eye for check our Ric Flair drip. So we know we could put the mahogany on and we can sell the dueling ones. Um, they swear. That's a 37. So we're actually going to do it here. So we'll throw on a uh, ceramic mask because I like the ceramic mask better. Headwear. Do we have any better hats? No. That's the one we have. We're going to put it on to. We'll do Bowler. Um, let's switch this one back over to Dark Arts. Keep that outfit. Keep that. And wear. And then we put this one back over to like Dark Arts or something. That's fine by me. Unless we want the OJ gloves. Do we want the OJ gloves? Let's go with the Dark Arts gloves. Yeah, we look solid. And we'll go sell. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. We'll go sell that other item that we have. So we'll sell that. We'll sell these gloves. Nice. Now we have 1400 to fuck around with. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure yeah. to stop by whenever Let's go you're with about. The and the focus you look potion, simply hopefully. cool. Let me get. Because if we get the Maxima and the Focus Potion, we should be able to knock that out and just go to the uh, the next mission. I believe you use this way, right? Yeah, he's right here. I'm pretty sure. Come yeah, on in. Healing potions are a specialty here. Should uh, you need any? Oh, we need one of these. A wise decision. Yeah, one of these. Thank you. And then we already have an Endurus. I think. I hope to see you again. already have that. Okay. So, uh, acquire and use a focus. So, we use our focus. Cool. And now we gotta use this one. Excellent. Nice. Oh, I'm fucking stone. I'm literally made out of stone. I'm the man of stone. I'm like actually stoned. Weird. No, no, let's go check on these, uh, like that. I wonder where they go. 
pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden... So, okay, I can't even do that mission yet. Yes, because I don't have the, uh, the other spell. Which makes sense. Kind of a bummer, but it makes sense. So yeah, I have to do potion, I have to go to herbology, and then I can do beast class as well. I don't have the pulse yet, so I can't do that one. I really want to follow the butterflies. Yeah, I guess I'll do the I'll do the butterflies and then I'll do all my classes. We good. So we gotta go find the butterflies. 400 meters away. Wow, well, kiss my ass. If you think I ain't, I, if you think I'm walking it, kiss my ass. I mean, I know that's the whole point of like the open world game is to experience the world and fly around and all that and run around. What are you up to now? I'm not trying to take my time. Let me find these butterflies, find out what I'm supposed to be doing, and then we go to class on the next day. And we now got like five quests. Five or six huh. quests. There they are. Okay, I guess we're gonna follow them. She wasn't making it up. Uh -oh. Well, we've come this far. Yeah. This Willard's he might get enough about these butterflies. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow these. Stop sprinting now. I mean, it was gonna take me up to the moon side anyway. Well, so, well. Chest. Look what we have here. Taxidermy wall hangings. Sick. And yeah, we're not fucking around here. Just gonna teleport back. I really don't have time to uh, run 500 plus meters every single time I have to go turn in a mission. I'd rather take the three or four seconds it takes to load. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Let's talk to her and then let's go do classes. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Dude, she, it's gonna turn out that she's gonna do it. And she's gonna get murked by like a fucking troll. <laughs> I'm gonna feel awful. But it's not gonna be my fault. That'd be kind of funny, though. I mean, obviously not really, but it'd be kind of nutty. Oh, we'll just go here. Right. No, I have to go to beast class out here. So we go here. That would be kind of funny, though. Like in all reality, if she musters up the courage to go run out there, 
and is missing, and I have to go find her for the uh, the barkeeper. You can't imagine how inconvenient. And it turns out she got murked by like a troll or a wolf or something. <laughs> uh, I feel terrible laughing about it, but it's kind of funny. Yeah, so we're gonna go to beast class. Let's wait till the day. Go to beast class, then we go to herbology, then we go to the potions. And then we're done. Oh, I have to meet up over here. Just imagine. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Bro, my boy Gerald. Hey, what do I do? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. Petting brush. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Like I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beef? Oh, dude, he's fucking What do you cool. suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> Probably tastes like... I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. Probably tastes like dog food. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities. Right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting... Why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjeeks. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh. <sighs> what in Merlin's name are you doing? Ugh. Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere Yo, near this go. class. We're gonna groom the measles, bro. Persephone was on to them instantly. Right, Thank you for your help. Them. Let's carry on. You're really mature for Feed your age. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> Oh, you're 16? Oh, sick. Ah. Obviously a joke. Relax. <laughs> it's a joke. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg. I, did, I thought it was It funny. appears our time has oh, come my, to an end. Please close fine. the pens and see yourselves out. Really now, sure your age, where measles? is our... Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. 
You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Poppy, try to like... Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I'm not trying to go to the forest with I you. I wouldn't the take fuck? just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Let's go. Really? Well, thank you. I think. We made it, boys. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. The weather we're having. Bro, she's hitting me with well, 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 It really is much better if I just show you. I'm gonna raise her up. We've made it, boys. We're in there. Dude, we're so in Don't there. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. That's a good reference. If you guys get that reference, let me know. Stand back. Magnificent. <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was 
fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. The poachers seem a dangerous lot. They don't scare me. Besides, I'd do anything to keep Hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Oh, I fucked up. I wanted to click the top, not the bottom option there. I wanted to let her know that I'd be down, but uh, I pressed the wrong one. Oopsies. That was fucking... That was actually worth... What's this dude doing? You fishing? The pink smedleys will always look upon you it, as Grace. a trusted ally and friend. God damn it, Grace. Get off the get off the dock. Go home. Yeah, no, that was beast class, kinda nutty. I can't remember what I uh, what I did in this episode. Ooh. Off on another adventure, are we? Nice. Oh, what is up with this poison? Alright, we gotta go to class. Let's do potions and herbology class. Revelios. Of Angelica, or three. Was that a fucking house elf? Wait. Follow it, hit. Let's go. Meet it, meet it here. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. Got another Slytherin token? Awesome. Let's go attend our two classes and then uh, we'll, we'll be Gucci. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Awesome. We learned to pulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice. What? Why is that up there? And then what was it? This one? And then uh, we need the pulso. Where's the pulso at? Right here? No. Right there. Throw that there, actually. Fuck. Uh oh. We fucked up. Big fat voice. Um. Put that there, and then uh, we can put 
Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the also. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Awesome. Alright, cool. So there's that spell. Now we gotta go to our herbology class. How nice to see you, my uh, So we need to go to the greenhouses themselves. See if it's garlic. Let's go run to garlic right quick. And then we can go drop off the, uh, the keys, or not the keys, the tokens down in the uh, southern common room. And then we'll be chilling. Who would have thought that watching plants grow could be so interesting? Oh, that was a piece of oh, shit that got me in trouble. To see you again. Uh, I have a mandrake seed, right? Yeah. Some mandrakes in there. Let's keep growing mandrakes. I'll do. Alright, now we gotta talk to Garlic. The baddie is herself. I've completed my assignment, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate oh, tells me she well, taught you right. Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezeboard. Nice. We have Wingardium Leviosa now. So I think what we can do is we can actually put that on for Leviosa. Wherever it went. Right there. Yeah. Put that one on for Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Oh shit. There's stuff, there's actual items in the crates? There's like actual items in these crates. Nice. I just hit someone. Awesome. Alright, now let's go back to the Slytherin common room. And then, uh. We can call it there for this episode. Figure out how the fuck to get back there. Oh no, I'm lost. Handy resource indeed. Your... Okay, I'm no longer lost. Sure, if we go back this way. But if I remember correctly, I have to go up here. Maybe I, maybe I throw up on the map. It's, I believe, down here? No. Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops. I just fast traveled to some random ass place. Got it. I tried to go back by not clicking anywhere on this map. I made a mistake. Happens. Uh, I believe it's staircase and then it's down here yeah we'll travel there i'm gonna be so pissed if i walk up there and i'm like i was closer to it than i was or like if i was running away from it i right, gotta go up here oh my mother makes drop, a delicious one more in all right 
break, and uh, yeah, that'll do for, I believe, episode 9, I think. My family has a lot of making decent progress, learning a bunch of spells, and uh, we'd love to see it. I'll see you guys on the next one.